plaintiff, Kathisha Skull, was married to the defendant, and she claims he's an abusive cheater. Kathisha claims the defendant made multiple sex tapes of him with other women in their bed, and she filed a restraining order against him after he assaulted her. She's suing her ex for breach of contract. Defendant Greg Gaskin says marrying Kathisha was the worst mistake he's ever made. Greg claims Kathisha is a raging alcoholic, and after he filed a restraining order against her, she went to jail for violating it. Greg's countersuing for a security deposit. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. Start with you. Um, I've known Greg for over 20 years. We didn't start being intimate until 2013. Well, the first day, mm -hmm. he has a key made to his apartment for me. Third day, he gives me a used wedding ring saying he wants to get married. So I went with it. It sounds kind of weird, but I went with it. Everything seemed great. Mm -hmm. When it went to month three, that's when that other person came out. Okay, he's, he's a liar. He's a cheater. How did you find out? I looked on his phone. And what did you find? Uh, dirty videotapes with him and other women in our bed. He took video. Yes, and if you look on his phone right now, guarantee How old are you? On. I hope you didn't do that. Did you do that? Wait. Make consensual <laughs> sex. <laughs> Did you make consensual sex videos? Yeah, we're her a lot of them. How old were you when you did that? 54. 54? You making <laughs> naked videos of yourself Different women, and your not woman. just one other one, several. Do you have children? One son. Do you have grandchildren? No. Do you intend Yeah, I do, to? I do, I have a You do? Yeah, and don't you understand they have access to this? So they can see daddy and granddaddy freaking off on video? <laughs> he thinks it's cool, he shows his parents. Yeah, I know kids do because they're in their 20s and they don't understand the ramifications of their actions in the future. Yes. That's my point. These kids, you're not getting jobs. Do you work? <laughs> Maybe that's the question. Two jobs, Two jobs. see there? Because yeah, you can't get where, one good one. That's where he Go picked ahead. up the women. The one good one, every one job that's good looks up your internet and finds you naked, that's and they don't want to imagine does. that when you come to the job. <laughs> they don't want to imagine where, what they didn't seen. That's where he picks up all the women he sleeps with because he works in a nightclub. Let him give some background. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, sir. Clean yourself up because you're looking bad. Okay, Your Honor, first thing first, I married Kathisha. That was the worst thing I ever did Why? in my life. Why? She's the biggest cheater. You, what type of cheating did you find out about her? I work, I work directly across the street from where I live. Mm -hmm. Eight o'clock every night. Mm -hmm. By 18, the guys was coming over. That's a lie. I come home. How do you know? Oh, because I just walk right home. I walk right home. That is And the guys guy, are there. He's in there working out on my weight bench. That is a lie. Working on my weight bench. I and then she says that. to me, I'm like, I says nothing. I, I go upstairs, get Let my thing. Let me just get that out the way. Ma'am, have you ever had a man in the house while he yes, was gone? Yes, lived with doing us. Doing what? Lifting weights? No, and he was doing way what? too skinny. To, he was living with us. <laughs> He, he was, was living, living with, with you guys. Us. All right, he was too skinny. He and he had a couple muscles in my But in my you, did a, sex tape. <laughs> right, you did a sex tape on that weight bench. So, so, <laughs> so, Your Honor. Go ahead, ma'am, and you tell me why you're suing him. I'm suing him because even though we were divorced, we still stayed together for about a year and a half after that. And during this time, he would beat me all the time. Mind you, he's a boxer. And I'm, I might be little, but you're not gonna just knock me down like that. He put a five weight um, weight in a boxing glove and was hitting me in my face with it and knocked my front teeth out. And I have the dental bill for that, which my mom ended up was having you to pay for. It. You didn't and that was never paid back either. You never prosecuted him on it. Oh no, I didn't. Okay. Not that one. You, there's another there's one. Another <laughs> there's one. more. And so, and then I've got all these restraining orders that I put on him, and then his assault where he went to jail for it. I've got 
these and then um, he even duct taped me before he went to work and had his son give me water if I woke up. Sir, what do you want to say about the woman beating, the wife beating? She's she lying. you're a wife beater. She provides me with evidence that you're a wife beater. What do you say? She lies. All oh, that's fabricated. If you look at that closely. Have you ever been charged? Yeah, I was charged. You, what was the result? I played no contest. The police say that they observed injuries when they came. This one does. And those were all the restraining orders because he kept Civil protective out. order. Silver protective. Silver protective order. Go ahead. What's this suit from? The money. Okay, so we ended up splitting up. I ended up having, even when when we split up, it was on, um, it was rocky just because of the situation. But when we weren't in a relationship, it was fine. Every now and then, hey, how you doing? Okay. You know, if he was in a relationship, he would just kind of talk about, oh, I'm seeing this person or whatever. So, anyways, I get in a relationship with this man that I've known since seventh grade. Unfortunately, he was selling a lot of um, narcotics. He ends up going to jail. Mind you, this is like one of the second biggest, ca biggest cases in Anchorage history, okay? So he goes to jail last year on For how Mother's long? Day. Um, his, since he's still in jail. He's been there since Mother's Day. How long was his sentence? About 35 years. So he needed a lawyer. Mm -hmm. So I'm talking to him, and he's saying, well, this is exactly what it was. One of his good friends is a lawyer. Mm -hmm. And, he, and I'm stupid for doing this, though, but he said, retain him because he owes me money anyways. And I'm like, okay. So I say, okay, so I gave him $2,000. Okay, mind you, gave him, him $2,000. The lawyer never showed up to any of these court dates to this day. I said, give me the money back. He said, he's not giving me a dime. He said, I owe him. He says, so go, oh, good luck, what? do what you got to do. Oh, and for what? I guess made his life hell. Okay. Go ahead. So I guess he just got out of jail. He did like 16 years in jail. He had just got out. So this happened. So he gets rearrested a few months after he gets out of jail. So we go to his aunt and uncle's house. They write him a, they write the lawyer a check, and then they put it, sent it to his office. That's a lie. They sent it to his office. The aunt uncle wrote a check to him. Do you have proof that you paid any of the uh, monies to the lawyer? No, I gave it to him. I gave it to him. You it's have his proof buddy. that you did that. How did you do it? Give me the scenario. Where were you all? At his house. You went over there. The lawyer for was what? there too. The lawyer was there too. You remember that scenario? No. All right. Why did you all go over to his house? Because that's where we were going to meet. He said, Why? "I'm going to tell." That's his planning. He's no boyfriend. Well, you have to show me some evidence. Counterclaim is for one thousand two hundred thirty-seven dollars security deposit. How does she owe you for that? Well, when I got arrested, there was an automatic twenty-day restraining order. And the very next day, she moved in a family of heroin addicts. So she's trying to get back. Yeah, got to re up. So <laughs> in this process. <laughs> In this process, she became, she's, she's a raging alcoholic. And every time she gets drunk, That's a lie. She, nope. goes, she goes off on these rants. So she came over where I was at, where I was staying, demanded my vehicle. She's going to get my vehicle to a heroin addict. So I run upstairs, I called 911, and then the police came, and then she ended up going to jail that day. For what? Violating the restraining order. Okay. So the 911 operator told me get a restraining order on her. So I did that. So about a month after that, she violated that restraining Got order. It. Mm -hmm. And she went to jail for a few months. And so me and the owner, we got together. We was like, well, we can't get them out of there. She's out of there. But the people she put in there are still living in there. Victim, then what happened? So we tried to evict them, uh -huh. and it's it's in the it's and in the paperwork. what happened when you tried to evict them? We got an eviction. We got right. an eviction done. Correct. But they tore the house up okay. and took everything out of it. Okay, now you're talking. Let me have your list, ma'am. What do you want to tell me about this? He no. If he would not have punched me out, he wouldn't have the restraining order to where he couldn't come. Let's to the get house. to. We went through all the mess. Right. Let's so get to the security deposit, ma'am. Ma'am. 
yes, security sir. deposit. Okay. What do you want to tell me about that? There is he he could have he brought a U-Haul there. I'd moved my. Ma'am, did you in. move people in? I didn't move anybody in. Okay, you have any evidence that she did, sir? You say the judge gave you a judgment. Obviously, you took it through the legal system, and you told the legal system what the problem was, and they uh, acted on it. That's how an eviction comes across. And that also eviction busy with this dismissed. mess. You're not even ready to prove your case. Here's you the, have zero documents here's the to eviction. prove yours. You can't find the most important documents here. out of this Got eviction. Y'all come in here to look at each other so that you can go and make another move. <laughs> That's the eviction. Here's another one. And your honor, I have a paper two of the eviction, and the eviction was dismissed. Let's see it. Let me see that, please. Thank you. And that was the disposition. Okay, summons forcible entry and detainer. You have provided me with district court of Anchorage. Court orders. Courts granted. Eviction granted effective May 20 of 2016. Let me see that so we can uh, circle this for and get her on back to Hollywood. <laughs> Your claim was dismissed. You said that uh, it was never an eviction order. That's exactly what that says. I don't know why you would try and deceive me. I know I wouldn't believe in most of the other stories. That was just puffing or fronting okay, or whatever now, no, reason no, no. you was well, telling on that me paper that. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, on that paper. Judgment for the counterclaimant. I see they did cause damage after they were to be evicted, and that's why you are awarded the judgment today. Have a good Thank day. Thank you, Your Honor. What you looking up me up and down for? Gross. Because I'm just no, your is gross. That's why you got an implant in the because it won't work. And I'm pumping your so let tell me nasty. <laughs> That's what's happening. That is what's <laughs> happening. That is what's happening. 